Hi, fans of uh, Fighter Magazine. I have here Richard Bustillo, and as you know, he is the wizard of Jeet Kune Do. And I want to introduce Mr. Bustillo to you guys because most of you ask me about mm. uh, Jeet Kune Do, and none, none better than Richard Bustillo to talk about. So I'm going to have a, a nice conversation with him. I hope you guys enjoy. Hi, Mr. Bustillo. How are you doing? It's my pleasure. Uh, Mr. Bustillo, when you start doing Jeet Kune Do with Bruce Lee? I met Bruce Lee in 1964, and we trained at his school in 1967, all the way to the time of his death in 1973. Mm -hmm. uh, Bruce Lee is well famous for his um, contemporary style, where it was no style at the same time. He was a guy that respected tradition. And uh, what the aspect of Bruce Lee most impressed you when you met him for the first time? Yes, uh, Bruce Lee um, um, re re revolutionized the martial arts and he brought it up to date. He said, I never created a new martial art. The, the only thing that I emphasize is the individual is more important than any style of system. Uh, he meant that students cannot do exactly what the teacher does. He, students, all students cannot fit in the teacher's size. So each individual might find must find your own way in combat. Uh, you're a big man, uh, you're a good rapper, I'm a light man, I'll probably be a striker. Uh, but in our Jikudo, we have to build well, we have to be well around in all those combat ranges. This is why I like to spar with the stick of the Filipino Kali, a scream or an S. I need to know my striking arts um, from boxing to Muay Thai, because you can spar with that and test your skills and from the Jiu Jitsu, Judo, wrestling for the ground, grappling techniques. And we use Bruce Lee's philosophies, training methods, uh, and concepts uh, to en enhance all those uh, ranges. Excellent. I have a story that in Brazil, most of the people who heard this story, I just want to know about it, if, if your opinion about that. Bruce Lee was trying to set up his uh, studio and uh, most of the Chinese community don't like because he was a Chinese teaching Caucasian and most of the time people don't like that in that specific time. Uh, people have some concerns about uh, immigrants and he was an immigrant like everybody else was. And uh, most of the Chinese said you have to stop teaching or we are going to challenge you. And I remember that by looking for his diaries and reading about his story, he decided to accept the challenge and uh, he fought the guy a couple minutes and the guy said I give up, I give up, I give up. And he, he didn't continue the, the, the fight. But Bruce learned two things about that. He was not cardiovascular prepared and the fight went too long. And uh, he said that from that moment on he will decide to have faster fight with finishing fast with more effectiveness. That's what he uh, brought all this course. What do you know about that? I know, I know a lot about that because I heard the start from Bruce Lee. Mm -hmm. I heard the start from Linda Lee, who was about six months pregnant with Brandon Lee. Mm -hmm. And I heard the start of Ming Lam. Ming Lam is the godfather of uh, Kung Fu in uh, San Francisco. All three people told me the same story. Ming Lam says that he was supposed to be the referee in this fight. Ming Lam said that he knew both uh, Wang Jokmin and Bruce Lee. He didn't want to get involved because this is a real fight no referee and, and uh, Bruce said uh, yeah they told him to stop teaching non-Chinese those days martial arts were very secretive very private very traditional and and Bruce Lee was teaching the blacks the whites the ori uh, different orientals uh, in San Francisco and when the they, when this uh, man came to uh, challenge Bruce Lee he said uh, you have to stop teaching our Gong Fu to a non-Chinese. The elders sent me to tell you this. And in so many words, Bruce Lee told this uh, uh, challenger that uh, I teach who I am, whoever I want to teach. This is America. You don't pay my bills. Um, so they said, well, we have to stop you. And he said, literally, bring it on. Next day, they came down with four colors of Chinese Gong Fu uh, practice, uh, martial artists. They allow only two people in uh, Bruce Lee's gym. And in the, in the gym uh, was James Lee and Linda Lee and Bruce Lee. The fight start. 
long drop bridge says he was going to shake hand. This is the Wing Chun pose. Bruce Lee said he put his pose, he did a Pak Sao, Juk Chun Choi, straight blast. <coughs> what Bruce Lee found out about after the fight, Bruce Lee was doing traditional footwork while this man was running backwards, naturally, faster. Bruce Lee said, how can he go back faster than I can go forward? So he break his traditional footwork, ran to this man, took him down, choked him out, and the guy gave up. Bruce Lee was upset. Even though he won the fight, he was upset. He says, how come it lasts one minute? It should last 15 seconds. How come he can go back faster <clears throat> than I can go forward? Because the traditional footworks prevent him from going faster. So he changed all his uh, training for his Jeet Kune Do now. That's when Jeet Kune Do came in. And he developed Jeet Kune Do when he came to Los Angeles, trained with Inosanto. And uh, uh, how is your uh, relationship with Nain Santo? That's very good, okay. very good. For 20 years, um, um, Dan and I were partners, uh, good friends, we ran around together. And you know, when you get remarried, you, the second time you remarry, and when you marry someone, you know, you forget your friends now, because you get a new wife. And, and he had relocated his house to a different part of uh, Los Angeles, and I was on the other side. At that time, we changed our named the Filipino Kali Academy to the IMB Academy. And um, so he moved on the other side, it was about 30 minutes away from us, so he stayed there and I stayed there. He said, this is good because uh, you now we can have both ways of sharing our chicken dough. Because everybody's chicken dough uh, is different. I like certain things, he likes certain things. He don't like some of the things I do, I don't like some of the things he does, you know, but you got both fields now. Yeah. And uh, one of the last questions I have for you is uh, they, so they, they send tips about uh, a guy in, I think that is in Europe, he's supposed to have the same speed as Bruce Lee, the athlete Je Jesse Glover was promoting this guy, he's one of the guys, the fast guy, he had the same speed as Bruce Lee. Has, you know, when, you yes, when we have people who can kick or can wrestle uh, in the gym, uh, in the school, Bruce Lee always used to say, but can you fight? People can break boards and, and you know, rocks and stuff like this. And the ultimate is, but can he fight? So every time we see something about this, how fast, how strong, you know. The you as he is. Yes, that's how it, that's why in my art, <coughs> my chicken though, I have three ranges, the weapons range, the Filipino Kali ice cream I like because you can test our skills by sparring. Next step to the fight. Um, in the striking range, the, the boxing, I love the Muay Thai, the knee, elbow kick. You have to know the, how um, the offense strikes in order to defend. We can test our skills by getting in the ring and sparring safely. And then uh, the grappling, anytime they grab you, either do the throws or wrestling or uh, jiu jitsu. You got to be able to do that on the ground. So you, now you are well grounded in all those combative ranges. This is why IMB is very, very um, uh, strong uh, because we can spar in all those ranges. And we use Bruce Lee's philosophies and concepts in our training. Excellent. <clears throat> so what is the, the, the message you have for the Brazilian people if you have something to say to the people there that's lo looking this? <laughs> to the Brazilian people, the individual is more important than any established style or system. Brazilians are tough warriors. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Heard the man. So I hope you enjoyed the interview. That's one more that I gave for you guys. Thank you for everything. Goodbye.